Hey guys, welcome Already back to my channel. So today we will be reviewing the brand new game Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4 and I will also tell the differences to the PS5 and the PS4 version. That has happened. So we will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4 and the PS5 and the PS4 version. That has happened. So we will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4 and the PS5 and the PS4 version. That has happened. So we will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4 and the PS5 and the PS4 version. That has happened. So we will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4 and the PS5 and the PS4 version. That has happened. So we will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4 and the PS5 and the PS4 version. That has happened. So we will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4 and the PS5 and the PS4 version. That has happened. So we will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4 and the PS5 and the PS4 version. That has happened. So we will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4 and the PS5 and the PS4 version. That has happened. So we will be playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS5 and a bit longer in the PS4 version as we don't have a very good graphics card in the older gen. So yeah, that's the basic problem and the frame rates. Frame rates are very smooth. They give uh 50, 40 to 50 FPS on the average PS4, and they give 120 to 130 FPS on the PS5 version of the game. So yeah, you can see that it's lo taking a lot of time to load right now, but it doesn't on the PS5. If you uh, see the PS5 gameplay on any platform or anything, it will just load like in a second. It's like just sort of click. But yeah, it doesn't happen on PS4. So keep your expectations low on the loading scenes. But the game looks amazing on the ps4 version and the 5 version it's just beautiful so yeah i'm playing the echoes of a cold war version mission the first building and is I'll just over the tree how cold war is the thanks game. dimitri we'll radio we found the main the graphics Woods. those looks those you know what the nice kgb right does now. to double agents yep da Hmm. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the flames. If you notice know right now, you can see the shadow, yeah. how good they are, and I've everything. only one hour of fuel, so after I, that, I actually you think the game looks a more sh uh, sharp on Mason. the PS4 version. If I, if you take a look, just take a look around. Look at the helicopter. Yeah, and the moving effects. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell look at the grass, the green and the trees, and everything. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Well, he buried half. The one thing that I don't like about Cold War is that it's not hard. It's very easy. I played this mission on normal, then I played it on hardened. It was a bit tough on hardened, but on normal, it's super easy. I just completed it in one second. Heads up, scouts but on the ridge line. Do it all. Quiet like, yeah, you're the that. expert in quiet. Like hey, I'm a complicated man. Aspects and everything. The focus is Good the best kill. thing. As the World War and Not the bad. Black Ops three wasn't that much good as in Black Ops Cold War. Modern Warfare was okay, -ish, but not that good. If you can see, I'm getting so many kills like right now. Good kill. And the game gives it easy from the focus effect too. So you have the focus effect as a bit. Mine kind of looks secure. And something then it would be a bit you more hard first, to get Mason. the snipe kills. You can see the green, uh, the mountains. I hope this holds. From the view. And this game is sometimes unreal. As can someone do that focus on your zip line? Doesn't have mind rushing and the blood just comes up. I mean that's the confusing part of the game. That's the old Zatcom building. Still standing after all these years. Barely. Look at the detail of the sniper scope and look at the mountain. The rocks. They look Stay so low. Keep out of sight. Damn. Good. Because bar the enemies have is just unreal as they see us then then we just turn away to some rock and they then they don't see us. Like the voice come pa bam and then we hide and nothing. They just walk away. But in modern warfare when we just uh, looked at them and they and just scoped at them 
they came right away and killed us. They just saw us and they shot at us. First grenade, which that got allowed about the 2019 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The Black Ops and the Modern Warfare series is the best Call of Duty series, no cap. You all have to agree on that. Sometimes Call of Duty does Black Ops does go a bit futuristic and Modern Warfare stays on goes futuristic but doesn't go that futuristic futuristic like um, the games. But Black Ops Cold War didn't go futuristic, that's what I love that much. Black Ops 2 went I mean Black Ops 3 went a lot far. Some people didn't even like it. A lot of Look at this Some place. people hated it, didn't even understand the Hendrix and everyone. The game wasn't just detailed enough to play. So yeah. I think it was okay if the multiplayer was great by the way. You can just go like that, go like that, snipe them from a super jump and wall run. But I would say that every Cold War has its taste. I think they said they're prepping the mainframe for extraction with and the crane. And this gameplay is not complicated. We find the mainframe. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. This is my uh, game on the Soviet that engineering and it's that worst. I downloaded from my PlayStation 4. I don't know if so I can only see it and post it. And the gun also looks so realistic in this game, like in. PS4 version. I would not expect Let's a go. console running from 2012 to run this game in 2020. I'm I'm moving. If GTA 6 comes on this game, then this console would be overmatched. I don't know. I don't like it. But as if you enable a vibration on the PS4, it gets more natural enable. But if you enable Xbox vibration, it doesn't get that much. Not comparing, both are very good. And, their own sense of and this game has a good characters like what in like other older Call of Duty games the characters do not. This is walk back while we kill them. But in this game they also kill the enemies with us. And their shots are very good. And the reloading, it's like very natural and real you can see that that's true and then dying when you die uh, the you drop your weapon then die Those off like the like the be a problem. You, again, you have the weapon in your hand and you just uh, <laughs> you and the following sequence the game is not that detailed enough in this part but it's very detailed in the PS4 I lost my damn gun. But if you look at the You're going first right next nice time. And decide. Yeah, it's beautiful. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. And a tunnel smoke. Got it's that. very good. The detail it's all detailed from the top to the Great. bottom. And the knife kills. Don't get me started up on that. They are so cool, like just bam, 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 and bam. It's just cool. you look at these Sokovian boxes, they also look very rustic and natural. Damn, it's cold. And bash option that was only available in Modern Warfare, I think, and Cold War. Huh. It seems like realistic for me. In Black Ops 3, you can't just bash in like in real life, you have to walk like this, 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 slowly. Это место было заброшено после схода лавины. Я слышал, что при раскопках были найдены тела с пулевыми ночами. But this game is brutal and I like that in a game. Brutality of clean kills. Clean kills. Those are very good. This looks real finishers. And Modern Warfare and Warzone also have real finishers, but this is like more real that I would suspect. 
and you can also carry bodies like in real life you can't do that in other games i have not played modern warfare that much so i don't know if you can carry bodies in that but i think you can't but in cold war that's just great Look at the bright light, it looks very fantastic. I would say Uncharted 4 also looks very great and real, but not like Cold War as Uncharted is also getting a bit old. I would love if Naughty Dog uh, gives it a second part. They just saw me, the bomb eater went full and I just hide it at the next rock, the ball I mean. And I'm going like this. That I don't like about the cold war, it doesn't give me the natural feelings like in the old Black Ops the enemy just jumped, super jumped and then came to us. And they would always spot us, that would be very annoying. I would say Black Ops 1 always looked real to me when I played it. The part one always looks real, even on the PS3 version. It's very real on the PS3. If you compare to this and this, Cold War will win, but at that time, Black Ops One was very good. And the gun drop, it looks so real. The ammo and it falls. But it was more realistic in modern warfare, I would say that. Modern warfare would be a good the best, but modern warfare gives it a good package. But Cold War doesn't give it a good package. When Modern Warfare 2019 was a big hit, it had the free free battle royale war zone, which was also very big hit. Good for Activision, I mean. Epic Games is, is always on the top. Top, they made the Unreal Engine in which all the games run. Uncharted 4 and Last of Us share, share the Unreal Engine 4. New games like Last of Us, Cold War, Unreal Engine 5, and Unreal Engine 6, GTA 6, and Red Dead Redemption 3, if it comes, will use that. Futuristic games, Unreal Engine 6. Right now, games, Unreal Engine 5. GTA 5 also use Unreal Engine 4, but if your PC can do it much more, it can run like Unreal Engine 5 or 6. You can say that. Like in the older Call of Duty games, when you be going to a dark spot, uh, the torch light comes up, but in, not in Cold War. You just have to go back through the darkness. And if I shoot at a person, blood will come out of him. So realistic. Not when you knife him, knife him I don't know. Even blood comes out in that scene right now. And the lock picking is also very realistic. It was not in the Call of Duty games like Modern Warfare and everything. It was introduced in this, which is pretty real for me, I think. And thanks guys for watching this video again. Please subscribe to my channel and everything. Shit, you did all like that. Like the video and press the notification bell to not miss my video. Thank you.